Now let's see. Newton's law of gravitation is what we use to find the gravitational force between two objects. Let's say m and one and m one and m two. Their distance r apart. The gravitational force between the two will be big G m one times m two over r squared. The big G is a very small number. That's why. The gravitational force between two normal objects is very weak, and we usually just ignore it. Okay, so we only consider the gravitational force usually when we have at least one very heavy object involved. For example, a planet and、uh, an object. And so, in this case,、uh, the gravitational force would be g m one times m two over r squared, where the r has to be measured. From the center to center, the center to center distance. Now, if this is a planet and this is a, a small object mass m, that means、uh, this gravitational force is also the mg, the weight of this object. So, if I cancel the little m, I get that gravitational acceleration equals to g m over r squared, which means、uh, the gravitational acceleration at a location. Is proportional to the mass of the planet and inversely proportional to the distance squared. And remember, this is the distance to the center of the planet. If we have, say, a satellite in a circular orbit around a planet, then we can say this thing is doing circular motion. Usually, for a circular motion problem, we use、uh, net force equals to m a. The net force acting on the satellite is the gravitational force, and that will be g m m over r squared. And because the satellite is doing circular motion, the acceleration is、uh, v squared over r. So in this case,、uh, if we need to find the orbit speed, for example, I can cancel the little m, cancel one of the little r's, and then I'll get the orbit speed to be square root g m over r.